Coming up on this episode of FYI Guy Live, learn how to make a perfect bow using pencils, elevate your decor with a candle holder made with tissue paper, and Jeremy puts 80s accessories on the fashion hot seat. All this and much more coming up on FYI Guy Live. Jeremy Rabe. I hope you're ready for some fun. Are you ready to get crafty? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me ask, how many of you out here are crafters? Yeah. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. Well, you, how many are not crafters? Go home. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just, hopefully, guess what? We're going to learn some stuff today about design and crafting, and maybe you'll learn something and it'll get you inspired to craft. How about that? Okay. Let's start off with our first FYI guy on the fly. Have you had trouble making a bow? Do you, do you like to make bows? Sometimes it's hard to make a bow. Well, I found a fun way to make a bow for wrapping, maybe Christmas presents, a baby shower, using two pencils. Everybody's got pencils at home, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick these pencils in some styrofoam or oasis or floral foam, whatever you have at home, and we're gonna stick them in as far apart as you want the bow. So if you want a really big bow, we're gonna stick them really far apart. Medium size, small. Well, for this project, we're gonna make a bow that's mm, medium size, if you will. So I'm gonna stick my pencils in right there. Now I'm gonna get some fun ribbon, and here's what we're gonna do. Now follow me closely. Here's what we're gonna do. Keep the ribbon on the spool just like this. Turn it upside down in the center. Now on the spool, this is gonna keep it easy to control. We're gonna wrap it around the pencils just like this. Okay, you see? This pencil right here is home base because we started on this side. So as many times as you loop it, that's how many loops you're gonna get on your bow. So here's what I'm gonna do. There's one loop on each side, two loops, three loops. Let's just do three because we're making a medium sized bow. Okay, now we're going to cut it off right over here. Now here's where it gets a little bit tricky, but it's, once you get the hang of it, I promise you it's very easy. Now we're gonna go over and under. Okay, over and under, did you catch that? Over and under. Point it down with your finger, just like that. And now you're gonna tie a knot right in the center, okay? Right there in the center, tie a tight knot. Then I like to double, double knot it, because I don't want it going anywhere. So I'm gonna tie a second knot, just like that. Okay, can you see that? That's how it looks. Then we're gonna pull it off of the pencils. And then it's the fun part, you get to fluff it out. Look how fun that is. And, because sometimes when I'm making a bow and you're scrunching it together, your hands get tired and they get a little cramped and you're trying to hold it all together and make it pretty. Well, for this bow, your hands don't get tired and you get to be creative and use pencils because you're using something in your house, which I love. And look how cute this is. Look at that cute little bow. And we made it from styrofoam and pencils. And after I made this bow, I thought how cute would that be for a barrette for a little girl's hair? Look how cute that is. And you made a cute little bow that will be on her hair. I was like, I don't have any kids, but I wish I did after I made this bow. I was like, maybe I should get, my mom would like me to get to work on that though. That's beside the point, that's beside the point. Okay, anyway, we gotta move, we gotta move on. But I tell you, I like to do this, and you can use any width of ribbon. Like even the deco mesh. How many of you here know how much I love deco mesh? Yeah. 
What I do with the deco mesh, just to quickly, is I like to scrunch it up, and I'll do the same thing with the scrunched up, and then you can fluff it out. And look, I also like to combine ribbons and bows. So here's a big deco mesh bow I made for this gift, and I've also made a complimentary little yellow one, and I'm going to tie it together to make a really super big bow and put it on this baby shower gift. Look how cute that is. In my family, we have a competition every Christmas to see who can wrap the best gift, because in our family, it's not what you give, it's how you give it. <laughs> it's the truth. <laughs> it is very true, and we need to have really pretty presents. So look how pretty that is. Guess what? This bow that we just made is coming up in our very first craft project with a very special guest from our audience. So don't go anywhere. Craft Project One is coming up. Yeah. Hey, everyone. You know, I really want to invite you to go like the FYI Guy Facebook page because I'm always updating things every single day and I'm sharing your photos. If you have a great project idea or maybe something you've made, send it to me on the Facebook page and I'll send it out to the world. We'll share it with everybody. We'll like it. We'll comment. It's a great way to keep interactive with your FYI Guy, me. So log on right now, facebook.com slash the FYI Guy. I'm so excited because when you see this jar, you know we're in for some fun. This is the FYI Guy Jar O Fun because I'm going to pick one of our studio audience members to come up and help me with a very fun craft project. So let me see, who do we have today? Let's see. We have, where is Char Charles Bales? Charles Bales. Get on up here, Charles. Did I say it right? I did. Okay, stand over here, Charles. Well, Charles, how are you? I'm great. Well, thanks for coming today. Well, thank you. And look how you actually matched today's project. Did I, I? You're randomly picked, so you didn't know to wear pink, did you? No. No, you just you're ready no. for spring, like yes, everybody. You bet. <laughs> well, thank you. Are you a crafter? I am. Yes, and do you do a lot of projects on your own at home. Yes. Okay, good. So this is right up your alley then. Hodge podge. Mod podge Mod and tissue podge, paper. Oh, right, let's well, let's get started then. Okay, here's today's project. We're going to turn these ordinary hurricanes into a special spring centerpiece that you can display all through the spring and summer. Should we get started? I'm ready. Okay. Now, Charles, take your hurricane and set it close. And now we're going to dip our paintbrush into some Mod Podge or just really strong glue. Okay. You don't have to. And we're going to paint right on top of the hurricane. And I'm going to go all the way to the top and even brush strokes if you want. How's it looking? Oh, that's, you're doing great. Thank you. And I just like to do kind of a section at a time because I don't want it to dry too quickly. Sure. So let's just do a little section. Right like that. Perfect. Now take, pick your favorite tissue paper. Let's pick, I've already pre-cut these into strips. We both, oh, there's green. Perfect. Okay. Start at the bottom. And then lightly press it down and take your paintbrush and Mod Podge right over it. Okay. It's, it's very sticky. Yes. It and, is. It, and this tissue paper is so thin, once it hits that Mod Podge, it is very hard to move. Sure. But I like to Mod Podge right on top of that. We're going to really secure that. And again, this tissue paper is not going all the way to the top, but I want to keep the Mod Podge all kind of like with the wood grain, keep it in the same direction. So we're going to keep that all the way up. Okay. okay, that looks beautiful. Okay, now let's pick another complementary color. Okay. And what I think looks really good is to slightly overlap the strips. Not a lot, but just slightly, just like this. And you know how much I love color. So picking these colors, you could really pick whatever color you want, or you could do a monochromatic theme. If you have a home that's like in red and you wanted something red, do all red. Oh, that's great. You know, don't you think? I do. Do you, do you like uh, these kind of colors or what colors are you into? I love bright colors, any kind of green. Mm -hmm. I, I agree and with that. Turquoise. You know how much I love turquoise. <laughs> have you seen? Have you seen this set? I do. I love that. turquoise. Okay, pick another. Let's put another color on. And okay. again, if these strips are too long, we may have to cut them off. All right. Okay. And I apologize. I tried to to plan okay, this sure. out for you. That's great. Okay. Now let's do one more strip, and then I have a surprise for you. Okay. Okay. That's Paint good. that on. But do you see where we're going with this? Can you see how fun this is? We're adding color. So you could also cut out hearts or stars or butterflies. You know, make your own pattern yeah. with it. Okay, you got that? Got it. Okay, let's set that aside just for one second. Because guess what? Magic of TV, I have one done. Ooh. Would you see how pretty that is? Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't that really pretty? Now, I gotta tell you, 
I'm never satisfied with just making one thing. You know me, more is more. You have to keep adding to make it really cute. <laughs> so I found these really cute paper plates. It's just a paper plate, very inexpensive, but look how cute that is. You set that right in the center. I mean, does that not scream yes. spring and cuteness? I know. Oh, wow. I love it. Charlotte, we're not done. <laughs> the ribbon, guess what? The ribbon we made in the FY Guy on the Fly, guess what? We're gonna, turn, we're gonna put this cute little ribbon right around here. We're going to add the bow that we made right down there. Would you look how cute that is? Oh. Wait, let me light it. Because it's so great to keep on your coffee table, and I love the way when you dim the lights, all that tissue paper just glows. All those colors will just glow. Now let me ask you, Charles, do you think you might can find a place for this in your house? I know I could. You know you, well guess I what? I know I could. It's yours, you're keeping it. <laughs> this is yours, Charles. you're so, so Enjoy a special gift from me to you. I remember you. I hope I light it up. You, every, you are so sweet. Thank you so much, Charlotte. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you so much. Let's give Charles one more big round of applause. <laughs> Thank you. There you go, Charles. Thank you so much. We've got so much more in store for you. Don't go anywhere, because guess what? I'm answering your viewer mail coming up. Hey everyone, it's me, Jeremy Rave, your FYI guy. Now, I'm sure you're sitting there watching today's episode going, wow, that audience looks like they're having so much fun and they're so happy and, well, guess what? They are. They're extremely happy and having a great time. If you'd love to be a part of the studio audience of FYI Guy Live, just head on over to FYIGuy.com and send us an email. Let us know if you'd like to come because spaces are limited and it's first come, first serve. And the best part is though, you could be picked to do a project with me live on the show. Could you imagine? I mean, that would be so much fun. So head on over to FYIGuy.com right now, hit us up, and we'll see you live in the audience of FYI Guy Live. this segment because we're at the FYI Guy mailbox and I'm gonna answer your viewer mail. So let's see what the postman brought me today. Let's see, hope it's nothing embarrassing. We have from Katie in Little Rock, Little Rock, Arkansas. How and where do you get inspiration for your projects? Well, you know what, Katie? I love to go thrift store and flea market shopping. I have several that I like to go to and what I like to do is I walk the aisles and just look at things. And I, to me, looking at other people's old stuff inspires me to repurpose that or think of a project I need to make. Or maybe I take that and I cut it in half and I make something out of it. To me, other people's trash is my treasure. You, you know, you've heard that expression before. I love to thrift store and flea market shop. You know 99% of my clothes are from thrift stores. So I like to go in there and just get inspiration. And then, of course, everybody looks online. You kind of get ideas from everywhere you look and I always take something and I make it my own. Even if somebody else has a great idea and I love that idea, I'll always put the FYI guy spin on that project to make it your own. So really think outside the box and be creative uh, with your project. So thank you so much, Katie from Little Rock. I appreciate that question. Uh, we have one from Lisa in Tempe, Arizona. Oh, what's your favorite decor in your house? <laughs> That's like asking me to pick my favorite child. <laughs> How how am I supposed to pick my favorite decor? Actually, you know what's funny? My house changes, like monthly, because I use my house as my guinea pig for all of the projects that I make. So I have different painted walls every month. I'll try a different paint technique. I'll buy something. For example, the owl, orange owl over in the corner, that was at a thrift store that I spray painted orange. It used to sit on my coffee table, because I love it so much. I just take things that are crazy. Uh, so I'd have to say, though, I am a rug, area rug, hoarder. I will be out and about, and I will find area rugs that I have no need for. I don't have room for it. I can't put it anywhere. So guess what? I have like 15 rolled rugs in my attic. You never know when you're going to need them. What, what if I decide to change the decor for Christmas and I have this beautiful burgundy rug ready to go? So I love area rugs. I know. And hey, hey here's a quick tip. Don't settle for one area rug. There are so many designers out there who say, you have to have the perfect large size rug that fits your whole space and every, no! Please don't listen to that. You know what I do? 
I have several rugs in several different sizes and I layer them in angles. So I would take one like this, I layer it on top of this one, I layered this one, and I love the Mod Podge of pattern and the color. As long as there's a, a, con a consensus with the palette, you're fine, but don't let anybody tell you you're wrong because you have to live there, we don't. So I don't care. I want you to be happy in your home. So thank you so much, Lisa. I love my area rugs. I'm a hoarder, I admit it. <laughs> and, oh, I think this, this is our last question from Ariana in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, I love Atlanta. I love that place. Uh, does your hair naturally stand up on end like that? <laughs> Ariana, you're getting a little bit personal right now. Um, no, Ariana, actually, I own stock in a hairspray company. And uh, you know what's funny though? It really doesn't take that long to stick it up. I go up spray, up spray, up spray, quaff done. That's what. That's basically what I do. It's pretty easy because you know bedhead. Basically, it's bedhead. That's all it is. <laughs> Thanks so much, Ariana. <laughs> Thank you so much for all of your viewer questions. If you have a question for me, please go to the FYIGuy.com. Send me your questions. It could be featured right here on FYI Guy Love. I'd love to get your feedback response. Anything from home decor, anything. Just let me know. Hey, when we come back, we have a fantastic home decor project that's perfect for your kids. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs> If you like everything arts, crafts, home decor, and so much more, then you're going to love Jeremy Rabe's FYI Guy Craft Crush Instructional DVD. Now you can watch the king of crafts create the most amazing artistic creations step by step from start to finish as Jeremy turns his penny-pinching creativity into incredible works of art while he turns trash into artistic treasure. Just one crafting session with Jeremy costs over $50, but with Craft Crush you get 12 complete instructional sessions for just $29.99. But hold on to your glue gun, because if you order right now, you get an instant $10 discount. That's right, you get the Craft Crush Volume 1 directly from FYI Guy Jeremy Rave at the low introductory price of only $19.99. On Craft Crush Volume 1, you get 12 personal demonstrations on how to make the vintage suitcase pet bed, the teacup bird feeder, the shabby chic wood plaque, magic melt crayon art, glitter glam candle, and so much more. So what are you waiting for? That's over $500 of one-on-one -on -one instruction with Jeremy for just $19.99. Go to FYIGuy.com right now and get Craft Crush Volume 1 before they're gone. Craft Crush will provide you and your family hours of fun and it makes a great gift. It's the FYI Guy Craft Crush Volume 1. Avoid the rush. Get Craft Crush. Don't delay. Order yours today. I'm getting my jar of fun. It is time to pick another lucky studio audience member because I need help with this next project. So let me see who we got this time. Pull out this one. Natalie Precise, Natalie! Get on up here. Thank you so much for helping. Oh, you, you got the memo about Chevron, didn't you? Yes. That's perfect, I love it. Look, you match my curtains. I know. Perfect, Natalie, okay. Today's project is for kids. Now, by any chance, do you have children? I do. You do, how many? I have two adorable daughters. Two adorable daughters, and how old are they? Ainsley is two, and Finley is four months. Oh my goodness, oh, those little baby girls. I should make you a bow for their hair then. I know. Okay, I'll do it. All right, Natalie, come over here. Let's look at this chair. Now, this is a chair I picked up at a flea market for $3, okay? Now, let me just show you at home what this looked like before. This was an old ratty chair with the basket weave top, and it was really decrepit, sinking and sagging in the middle. So what I did is I cut off the basket weave top, and then I spray painted it white, and this is what I got. Now, here's a fun part. You can get the kids together, go raid mom and dad's closet, and get all the belts from the 1980s that they don't use anymore. <laughs> you know they have them. You know they have them in their closet. So let's, here, okay, let's get on down here. We need to get down and dirty in this project. So go raid mom and dad's closet, get the belts. If you don't have enough belts, you can get these at the thrift store for like a dollar, you know, and you can pick out the bright colors. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the top of this chair using these belts, okay? Here's what I found works best for me. I'm gonna go side to side first and then basket weave it front to back, okay? So here, here Natalie, take this one right like that. Okay, perfect, loop it. Now stretch it really tight. I found that these terrible 80s belts, there we go, really tight. I found these terrible 80s belts work because there's no 
holes that restrict you. You can put it anywhere, so they're really adjustable. And then I'm just gonna put it as if you're tying the belt, right like that. Oh my goodness gracious. Of course I would mess that up. There you go. Okay, look, that's what you're gonna do. Make it as tight as you can. Now we're gonna add another. How many of you ladies wore this in the 80s? Don't lie. <laughs> Don't lie to me. All right. It, it really was. This reminded me of a dynasty belt. <laughs> I know Joan Collins has worn this, and that just dated me, didn't it? <laughs> that is so bad. Okay, okay, you get the idea, right? We're going back and forth. Now, let's take this fun. I love this one. Now, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to weave it, so go above this one and below the whole belt. Don't go in between the belt. Over the top, and then back around, over. And again, if you want to, right above, over this one. No, under. There we go, under, I'm sorry. There you go. Natalie, you were right, I was wrong, I apologize. And we're gonna tighten that. Now, if you want, you could do this upside down where all the buckles are on the underside, just in case it might snag your clothes. I personally made it both ways and it never snagged it, but my booty's a little bit bigger than a kid's. <laughs> so it may, there we go. And what I do is after I do, let's do one more, because it's fun. Now for this one, we're gonna go under, perfect, and over. Do you get the idea? Do you, did you ever take underwater basket weaving in college? <laughs> yeah. That was the throwaway class, right? <laughs> yes, see, we, do, we have somebody here. This is really coming in handy now, okay? And you tighten it. And what I did is, if these extra scragglies are too long, just cut them off and then hot glue them down just to keep them in place. And you know how much I love a hot glue gun. Can't live without it. Okay, see how pretty this is? But guess what, Magic of TV, we have one already finished, so let's bring out the finished product. Here's Chrissy. Thank you, Chrissy. Did you look at that? Look how pretty that is. That's, that's cute. I am so happy with this. All of these old belts, all of the, you know me, I love color. Of course, I wanted as much color as I can. Now, moment of truth. Are you ready, Natalie? Yeah. It holds me, it's good. It's good, it works. Now, I personally think this would be great in a child's room. Yeah. All right, Natalie, let me ask you this. Do you think that maybe one of your daughters might need this chair? Probably. Do you think that they would sit on it? Yes, and well, climb on it. Well, climb on it, that's okay. <laughs> I'll take that. Guess what, Natalie, this chair is yours. You're keeping it. <laughs> All yours, thank you. Your daughters can climb on this all they want. Have fun with these, but I promise it's secure. You saw me sit on it, you know. Yeah, yeah it's good. <laughs> I want to thank everybody for watching today. My fantastic studio audience. Charles, you did a fantastic job. Thank you so very much. And Natalie, of course, thank you for your help. And again, keep checking back right here at FYIGuy.com. I'm updating things constantly, and I don't want you to miss a thing. Till next time, I'm Jeremy Rabe, your FYI Guy. Keeping it fast, easy, fun. Bye, guys. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>